I think I found quality app. Hello, Mother Mage here, and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance, where we will be continuing on where we left last episode. Now, we're gonna need to go talk about the poaching. Let's go talk about that poaching. And also get myself, uh, used to the weight that I have. Cannot get rid of that, cannot get rid of that. Can get rid of some of my armor. Ooh, that's... 11 on the weight. Wow, that's actually really heavy. But it is 85. Move that over to the horse. Still not good enough. I still need to move a little bit more. So, tournament arrows. Uh, better hunting arrows. That's a lot I've got there. That should, yeah, that's, that's fine enough for now. Actually, what I need to do, well, this is a problem. I had both those bows on me. There you are. He was not there a second ago. Was he? Let's, let's go talk about the poaching, because that's going to increase my, my charisma a little bit. My speech. Which is already getting a boost thanks to alchemy. That's exactly why I did a bunch of herbalism, because uh, I figured alchemy might be a good thing to have. I mean, herbalism might be a good thing to have, because it has a, a boost to my charisma, boost to strength, a lot of God boosts. Be with you, good sir. A lot of boosts. I want to ask about the courier's son, Hinnock. And ask someone else. I have nothing to do with Riki. Nah. You only drive my customers away. Huh. Really? I heard a different story. I heard the two of you do business together. Who are you, anyway? A friend of Hinnex. He's gone missing and I need to find him. I don't know where he is. But if you find the bastard, tell him he still owes me some goods. Still owes you some goods? I don't give a damn what deals you've been doing together. I won't tell anyone. I just need to know where Riki is. It's urgent. What have our deals got to do with where he disappeared to? <laughs> More than you think. It's likely Riki is hiding out at his poaching lair, and believe me, it wasn't hard to find out who was buying game from him, and it's even easier to go to the castle and tell them. Poaching's a crime, after all. All right, all right. Oh, wow. Well, give me your word of honour. You won't tell anyone about our deal. You have my word. Fine. So, what do you want to know? How much game did he bring you? Not much. A few pieces. There's no great demand here. Sometimes the gentry has something, otherwise it ends up in sausages. Nah. I hear Hinnak has a hideout in the woods he uses for hunting game. Do you know where it is? Not exactly. That is... I don't know where it is at all. But? But I happen to know it's a dark place. A cave or an old mine shaft. How do you know that? My pleasure. Whenever Riki was going poaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skinned and gutted, so we had to have a light for that. Yeah. And do you know of any mine shafts nearby? There's a few of them around. There's one on the opposite bank, a short way off the path leading from the forge to the west. Then there's a mine gallery to the east of the village, uh, up in the woods above the cliffs. And I heard there's one shaft on the headland close to the water. Thank you. You're welcome. Watch you don't break your neck, though. It's rough ground, and you could easily fall down a shaft. Thank you for actually caring. So now I have multiple places. We know there's the one right over here. But there is one over here and there's one over there. So we might as well just go over there and uh, explore them a little bit. 
Who knows, we might run into some bandits. If you didn't notice, I had a smile just now. Because I was thinking of how I was gonna kill all those bandits and take all their loot. Stuff it on this tiny horse. Make the horse carry all my loot. Poor horse. This horse should quit already. He's not getting paid enough for this. Oh wait, he's not getting paid at all. Poor horse. Wait, he could actually be in this direction, surprisingly enough. Because there is woodcutters in this direction, how much I know. Come on. Why does I have to make the bushes solid? I can never understand that. Since when are bushes impassable objects? Well, I suppose you're going to struggle to go straight through it, but still. <coughs> well, that's scary. Just to make sure my horse is, uh, Topped up on stamina before I enter this woods because uh, that tower is telling me bandits. Not just a few of them, an entire camp of them. Alright, come on, game. Trees, bushes, all of them, they stop me. Do with a bite to eat. Okay, let's do that first before our oh, horse. Give me some of my food back. Uh, did I get that? I can't remember. I think I got that special thing that allows me to eat these. Resistance. Ah, yes. I have resistance because of herbalism. Yes, that's another good thing about herbalism. Ooh, silver tongue. What does silver tongue do? So it increases speech skill when haggling. In dialogue, you'll see your counterpart stats in skill checks. Ooh, I'm grabbing that. <coughs> I can actually see can I draw the sword because I can't really use a bow with a torch. Okay, it's definitely not this one. But am I still getting I'm still taking damage. That's not good. Buffs. Food poisoning. Thought I got something out that removes food poisoning. Like, resists food poisoning, but apparently not now. Only for a little bit. Inventory. I have many things that can solve this, but not right now. It's not a problem just yet. Technically, I'm a poacher as well, but hey, does it look like I care? I've poached a couple of things in my life with a noble, so yeah, that's a thing. Let's see here. Um. Anywhere cross cross by. There's one right over here. No horse, don't get stuck in the water. Great. Look at this magic horse. Every time I have a magic horse. 
I. Who Jesus, might look where you're you going. Be? Never mind, looks like I'm gonna have to be running. Hey, somebody's playing Black Squad. Still had to have to download a game and to try it out. Horse, you're back, finally. Now let's rush our way over there. Is this it? What, what is this place? There's a woman here on her own. I can't go. A beggar. Uh, what happened to you? Terrible things, sir. Terrible things. God must be punishing me, but I truly don't know what I've done to deserve it. Those devils killed my man and then had their way with me. I gave birth in the woods, like an animal. I hide in the woods at night and during the day beg here at the roadside. I'd like to bring the children something better to eat than acorns. Haven't you got something for me, sir? I don't have that much. Of course. Here you are. I have some money. Thank you, sir. May God bless you. You know, some games actually reward you paying for, uh, like, helping people out like that. This game might not be one of them, but still, it makes you feel happier. You help someone. Climb this hill, you horse. Climb the hill. This horse can climb hills better than I can. This horse, I'm just like raking it, riding it up hills, riding it down hills, into trees, out of trees. Uh huh. Nope, not this one. I was actually hoping I would find some stuff here, but... Nope. Nothing. Not a thing. But in any case, I explored this area now and I helped that woman, so... It's fine, it's fine. Let's fast travel to over here. Let's be faster than running. And plus it just simulates everything, so, uh... It's not like I'll encounter anything too badly when I'm fa fast traveling. Don't ask me why, I just... Watch had to it. build up, but you I had to, uh... Oh, yeah. Put the weapon away. Else? Weapons are n frowned down upon in cities or in towns. Apparently. Mm -hmm. I actually get something that gives you a charisma boost whenever you find one of those things. You can just run around. This is every single one of them and then you get like a massive charisma boost or something like that. I wonder if they'll stack. Probably. Where's it supposed to go? Up? Might still be able to go up here. Doesn't look too steep over there, mainly over here. I don't know that it's a mine, I don't need to search as badly, but I still want to go talk to those other people first. Mainly because of uh, charisma. Something underneath the uh, bridge, apparently. So, side of interest here, but where? Is that it? Open spirits. I don't know if I would want to steal spirits, but um, I might be able to sell it. Because it is alcohol. So. 
It's not really preferred. But of course it isn't preferred to just run into the woods and I've done that on multiple occasions. I've even traveled all the way to the edge of the map. There's just an invisible wall there. Sadly, I was hoping that they would have put something in there like a yeti and you just get eaten by that. And I was just like killed off instantaneously. Something like that, but no. Ooh. No, 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 oh. I think I found uh, quality arrows. They really didn't skimp on the amount that they. Horse, just no. There's a dead horse in here, even. Or a horse. It's probably scarred for life. Even throw threw over his little wheelbarrow cart. And another dead horse. And a couple of dead things in here. Okay, well, we found him. Or we found someone at least. Yes, horse, get out of there. Thought it was him, but nope. That was not him. Hopefully he's still alive. Well, I found two quality arrows. That's, that's a good thing, isn't it? Woodcutters! Was his name just Raspberry? God be with you! I don't know. Yeah, Raspberry. I'm looking for Hinek, the courier's son. Riki! Aye, he shows up here sometimes. Why do you ask? I'm trying to find him. Good luck, then. Good luck. What do you mean? Riki is like some bloody hedgehog, always creeping around in the woods. And just as prickly. So you see him there often? More like we don't see him. <laughs> ah. Has he been here recently? A few days ago. He came by in the evening, well into his cups. He might have fallen somewhere and broken his neck for all I know. So he went into the woods? Aye, like always. How do you know him? We worked together building a mill by Janowitz, and then he vanished. A year later I came here to work, and lo and behold, there's Riki. What is it doing do you know what he gets up to in the woods? What do you reckon? Making money. It's no secret he goes poaching. You're speaking as if that's perfectly legal. No, no. That's not allowed. I know. I mean, I think he might be poaching. But maybe he's gathering firewood. No way for me to know, right? Firewood, of course. Firewood is very lucrative business I hear Riki nowadays. has a hideout in the woods somewhere. Do you know where it is? No. I... I think I was there once. You think? What does that mean? Either you were there or you weren't. Um, well, once me and Hinek had a bit of a drink together here and we ran out of ale. Hinek said he had some stashed away in the woods, so off we went. But do you remember anything about it? The direction or which path you took? Aye, I can tell you exactly. We went from the edge of the camp here along the path down to the creek. A little upstream there's a fallen tree bridging the water. We went across it to the other side, then we went uphill to a big boulder. You have to listen carefully there. Why? There's a spring nearby. Someone put a kind of little mill wheel on the stream below it. You can hear it going clap, clap, clap all day and night. Uh-huh. Once you find it, you go around the spring and nearby you'll see a clearing. That's where Hinnick's hideout is. It's an old mine gallery or cave. Oh yeah, so it's still right there. Of course, what the hell are you doing? This horse is reacting weirdly to physics. 
This horse does not like physics. I wonder if any other horse would like physics. Not exactly where it is though. Because I have directions. I found out the other way, but now I found out this way as well, which means that my... We found it! It wasn't that hard, now was it? Okay, let's pull out the torch here. Get ready to defend myself, because it might not be that friendly right now. Okay, he appears to be friendly. He's seen better days, though. <sighs> Mercy! Oh, damn it. He won't hold out for long. Help me. Please. What happened at Neuhof? Who's coming for you? Rats, people. Neuhof. What a fucking mess. Why? didn't want to kill them. Nobody. Only their... Oh, their savages. We ran, ran off. What happened to you? Rans and, and his people. They found me. Where did they go? Oh. Don't. No. I'm looking for those bastards who attacked Neuhof. Where can I find them? They've got... a camp. Where? Come on, tell me! I don't know. I've never been there. So how do you know about it? Who told you? My mate. Timmy. He was there. But they... They might have got him by now. Where can I find him? He works at the windmill by Miriam. Unless they've killed him already. Nah. What can I do with you now? Help me. Please. I do have, uh... What? What? Uh, am I not allowed to, like, help him? I'm sorry, but there's no help for you in this world. Not anymore. I... I know. Help me... to the next one. Please. Well, now I'm supposed to kill him. Game save. Ooh. Well... <laughs> I suppose I could have, like, gone to his father and just told him, like, but, oh well, too late, wait, actually, it's not too late, let's, let's try that, let's try that, see if his father will come get him and then nurse him back, <laughs> there's me being excited. Now, let's see here. Hopefully, if we keep him alive, I'm on a balanced diet. No, I can steal it right in front of him. Um, you see, I'm pretty much still alive. He's gonna probably die really slowly, but hey. Okay. So. I think I have an idea. Horse. Pebbles. To town we go.
Let's see if we can um, talk to someone to go save him. See if we can't save a life, even though he doesn't fully deserve it. We might as well try. Might talk to her first, see if she won't go help him. Okay, so I can't talk what to you doing? anymore, can I? Nope. She's giving up on him. Of course, good work. Ow! Walk that way. Ow! Make them scream out in pain, horse. Make them scream out in pain. Is this guy? Yay! We found him. Good day to you. What do you need? Wow. These people are horrible. They don't give a shit. They don't. They don't care. Well, let's go end them then, because. Uh, Yeah, it's no use in keeping him alive if he's only going to be suffering there for the rest of the game. Just trust me, a game will do that. Nick is going to die, so... Technically speaking, I might as well just end it now and save him a bit of pain. By stabbing him in the head and getting a bit of money and stuff. Hey, it's if looting his body will save my life later. So be it. Horse, come on, you can do it. You can do it, horse. You can climb this hill. See here. Need to head to over there. Fast travel down, so it didn't use this path. Horse, stop your freaking. Not that far away anymore. We're at the clearing. We. Is he still alive? He is. I'm sorry about this. He <laughs> just wouldn't. Just wouldn't. I'm sorry, but he just wouldn't. Uh, well, might as well just get an hour. Get my energy levels a bit up. Actually, what I should be doing is uh, increasing that. When I was first going to simulate things, sleeping in a cave. Feels weird. Let's sleep until my energy is at maximum. Four hours left. I said an hour later because then I can cancel it. Maybe I should just sleep the entire time because otherwise this might not save. And I would rather not want to waste another savior schnapps on saving. Oh, 
Well, I think that's that for this episode. See you guys in the next one. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please hit the bell icon so you're notified when the next episode is up. See you guys in the next one. And goodbye.